What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Michael Knapp Fishing. Uh, today we are out on Cherokee Lake. We are flipping a jig around and I just had a very untimely line snap. But um, as I was sitting here thinking about it, um, you know, a lot of people, um, I, I get a lot of questions about if the X-Zone muscle back crawl is the only trailer I use on my jigs. And it's not, um, but I thought maybe we would go into detail a little bit today as to uh, the different kind of trailers we can use on jigs. Um, you know, there's, there's all kinds of them out on the market, um, but I'm going to show you guys my three jig, or I'm sorry, my three jig trailers that I have the most faith in. So let's go. got my jig tied back on so we are going to I'm going to show you all we're going to talk about the three jig trailers that I personally prefer so let me get those out real quick and I'm going to go ahead and apologize now I am low on some of my colors so these aren't exactly the colors that I would be matching with this jig usually but <laughs> for all intents and purposes It'll be all right. All right, so I've got my three trailers now. Um, real quick, first let's talk about what are we mimicking with a jig. Um, there's all kinds of different opinions out there of what they feel, but they're all the same. Um, all the opinions are relatively close. What we are mimicking with a jig is a crawfish a bait fish, a bluegill, a sunfish, something along those lines with a little bit more bulk to it. So that's what that's what we're mimicking. When I do it, um, I set mine up to where I can mimic both. I can mimic a crawdad, crawfish, crayfish, whatever you want to call it, and a bluegill. So we'll save that one for last. My number one go-to trailer. Everybody already knows. <laughs> Is the muscle back crawl? Um, it is a full size four inch um, crawl, and um, you know when it's coming through the water, these legs kick. They just kick quite nicely, and when you're swimming it back, it imitates the bluegill. But when it's down in the water, these claws actually float, so they stand straight up. And that imitates the crayfish when they go into their defensive mode, when they're ready to attack, all that, however you want to call it. We call it defensive mode. So that is my number one go-to crawl. And obviously I put black and blue on black and blue jigs. I put green pumpkin on the green pumpkin jig or brown. But you know, ma you match your colors up. Um, there are some rare instances that I won't do that. Um, but nine times out of 10, I do. I was looking for these and I just found them. <laughs> okay. That, it's another, uh, this is a muscle back crawl as well, but this is a 3.25 um, finesse version. Uh, same deal though, their claws stand straight up as well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys uh, real quick how I rig it. Um, all of these baits are gonna be rigged the same way you just go right through the back of it you know just like so get it to come through the center and then just really shove it up on that hook keeper well guys don't use a jig that doesn't have a good hook keeper like I can't stress that enough you know that 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 uh, plastic keeper is a big big deal um, so there is my jig profile nice little tentacles on it some people would trim up the skirt because it's touching the claws uh, it doesn't really matter to me um, I'm, I'm indifferent about it um, sometimes I will sometimes I won't uh, the only time that I really really will is in the winter time um, in the winter time we throw a different style of a crawl and we want it to be a little less intrusive 
we're gonna save that winter time one for last. So next, this is the next bait that I will throw on a jig. It is the X-Zone Adrenaline Bug. Uh, it has split tails, different appendages on it. These float as well. Those tails float as well. Now, guys, I'm not telling you you have to go out and buy everything X-Zone. By all means, I encourage you to, if you want to, discount code down in the description below for you if you want to but anyway um so the big thing for the big thing about these for me is they're a much beefier trailer but they're subtle you know the the exome muscle back crawl has a lot of appendage or not a lot of appendages but a lot of bulk to its appendages so they flap more the adrenaline bug when it goes down it flaps a little bit but it's not quite as much so I will, I will use those intermixed throughout the spring, summer, and fall. Those are kind of intermixed all the way through there. I like them in, in different areas, different situations, different lakes. So those are my two uh, spring, summer, fall colors, or I'm sorry, uh, baits. So this one, I'm sure everybody's already thinking in their head, oh, we know what this is. Um, this is my wintertime crawl. And I will actually use this for other things as well, but Everybody knows it's a chunk, just a crawl chunk. Let me see if I can hold that better so y'all can see the whole thing, there we go. Just a crawl chunk. Um, it is much less intrusive, nowhere near as much action as that muscle back crawl, but it makes the, um, it, it makes the profile a little bit uh, smaller, a little more compact, and we'll also use this on swim jigs. This is a, fa a fantastic trailer on a swim jig, especially in white, because of the way it will kick when you're swimming it. Um, the, uh, the the muscle back, um, or I'm sorry, the rebel chunk, um, the rebel chunk is really good for in the winter time, like I said, but when you have it down there, you have got to have it like a, um, we're, we're kind of imitating like a pig and jig with it. Um, everybody, well, not maybe not everybody, but a lot of people remember back in the day, the pig and jig. Um, what I do with that jig? The pig and jig, um, you were obviously using um, real uh, pork, but we're replicating the same thing with it. So the way that I do my, my, uh, bait is I actually take the hook and put it right through the center of it like so so that it's actually sitting like this up on the hook um, obviously I just did that for you know for video purposes right now don't you know don't have another crawl trailer on there but that was just for video purposes um, so that that's kind of the way that I do my uh, my chunk crawls in the winter time and then of course in the winter time we also take a, a finesse jig a little let a fewer strands on it lighter wire hook lighter line is going to be able to be used so that makes everything a little more you know a, a little more compact and a little bit easier to use guys and gals i hope that helped y'all out and gave you a little bit of insight as to what i like to use on my jigs and what three trailers i run on my jigs there's all kinds of other things you can run uh, you know i know people that put sankos on them they put them wacky rig they put them texas or they put all kinds of different stuff on there but those are my three uh, trailers that i choose to run on my jigs um they are they're proven you know they work for me on a daily basis they work all the time for me so um you know, give them a try. If you want to try any of these things out, if you want, if you want to talk to me about them, just shoot me a message on Facebook, Instagram, anywhere, guys. Feel free to reach out to me, Michael Knapp Fishing, on Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Twitter is Knapp Fishing. You know, reach out to me on all those places. If you have any questions, you want to talk about anything, just shoot me a message, guys. I'd be more than happy to talk to y'all. Guys, I hope these videos are helping y'all out. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Uh, if you would, go down to the comment section down below. Hit, leave me a comment, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, tell me what you guys think of these crawls. Let me know down there what's your favorite trailer. What do you guys like to throw on yours? I know a lot of people like the rage crawls and all kinds of stuff like that. Guys, take care. I'll see y'all on the water.